guys welcome back to Lexi's tarot card reading today i want to do a different type of reading for my collective for my for my viewers i'm gonna use this deck today for every pile i have three piles in front of me i have pile number one the heart pile number two the amethyst Pile number three, the rose quartz. Okay, so today is a spirit. What is spirit wanting you to pay attention to? Um, I'm going to use the queen of the moon oracle to see what spirit wants you to pay attention to. Okay. Pile number one, if we chose this stone, this is your pile. So we're, I'm going to shuffle this deck to see. What the spirit wants you to pay attention to. So for pile number one. For pile number one, guardian angels and spirit guides. The void and will. So we have the void. Intuitively, I'm feeling that you may have no projects, no self-esteem, no energy to do to do anything, no hobbies. You feel empty. There's complete darkness surrounding you. There could be very negative people around you. That's what I'm getting also. So, and then we have a num number one. I feel like your advice here is to... Your guardian angels are like calling you to wake up, okay? They're asking you to to start a new project, start something new, okay? So let's see what we get from the cards. We have the Hierophant. That for me is like Jesus. Jesus is calling you from the dead. We have the Two of Swords reversed for pile number one. The well, the sun reversed, the hierophant, clarify the hierophant. They want you to stick to a routine. They want you to, you know, go back to church, go back to school. They want you to, to put your energy into something. They want you to start creating something. Why is the fool here? I'm sorry, the higher thing. Why is the higher thing here? The moon re upright, the two of swords reverse. Yeah, they want you to put your trust on God or the universe, whoever you believe in. They want you to start believing. Start have a have a faith. Okay. The will. Why is the will here? So you haven't had closure. Um, it could have been um, due to a fight with a friend. Um, the sun reversed. With a lover or something of that sort. And they want you to find closure within yourselves. I feel like they want... They want you to... Find peace within yourself. Find the truth within yourself. Okay, we have the artist in the well. So I do feel like some of you are artists. Y'all are very creative. Y'all have a very beautiful, bright mind. But it's being, it's being shut down. It's being closed off by all this negativity and... Uh, negative talks negative self talk self sabotaging I feel like you are starting to see the truth now with the eight of swords um, and the hangman reversed but there's still something here that you have not seen the truth about and when you find out it's going to cause you lots of darkness lots of sadness 
a confusion why this person did this to me they've been loyal to me since forever why have they changed now why is this going on okay so let's get you a surrender the power of surrender card to get you advice for power number one you could be dealing with the Taurus Pisces but I feel like your advice here is that you need to move on. You need to get away from those who are not loyal, loyal to you. Okay, you could have court issues, court problems for some of you. Let's see what I'm getting. I'm also getting, if you have someone who passed away recently, they are at peace, okay? They are at peace, and they are watching you. So we have surrender to wonder and Aoi. Open to the magic of every moment and sense that Aoi and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So your flow is blocked. Okay, you need to believe in miracles. You need to um, accept good things when they happen to you. Not say, why why me or this soon will be over. Okay. Let's see, one more card. What is the advice here? The Two of Cups. Don't be afraid to connect with people on a deeper level. Connect with people genuinely from the heart. Okay? And I just saw an orange butterfly, so I feel like that message is for you. Alright, beautifuls. Um, yeah, don't connect to people who are rude to you. Leave those people who are toxic alone. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much. Ciao. Welcome pile number two. We chose the amethyst. This is your pile. We're going to see what messages spirit has for you. So for pile number two, what messages do you have? What is the theme here for pile number two? realization so you could be in denial about something but you have the key to this door you have you have the answers I'm getting okay and you're gonna realize something and you're gonna get an intuitive hit and you're gonna um, have an epiphany when it comes to this darkness that's surrounding you around you um, that's not blocking your path but may seem like it's blocking your path okay so let's use the oracle card the I'm sorry the tarot deck to see what is your messages for call number two what messages do you have guardian angels and spirit guides We have the number three, so you could be life path number three. What is this realization about? The four of swords. I'm getting don't overwork yourself. When you need to take a time to take a break, you need to take it, okay? Or you need to set boundaries and let people know when you are tired and you need to take a break. The three of wands. Resting doesn't mean you are not you not you are not productive. I'm getting here with the cards that you need to rest and your and your your gifts, your abundance, your achievements will come to you at your doorstep. But there needs to be a time to rest. It's 
uh, work hard and play hard is the message I'm getting here. We have the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Cups. I feel like you truly love your work or you truly love working or you're working for something to come through um, in your business or at your work. You're waiting for something to flourish. I'm getting for some of you this could be relationship wise. Okay. I'm going to clarify. Four of Swords. Yeah. And things have not been getting off the ground. That's what I'm getting. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands. I'm getting that you no longer want to wait on this. Something that will bring you complete happiness. Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Okay, there's something. You're either self-sabotaging yourself, which I don't feel like that's that's what's, that's what's coming through. But what I'm getting here is that there's people trying to steal your ideas at work. There's people who are trying to steal your creativity. Or they're just vampires um, who's around you. They're watching you work hard and they're trying to steal from you. Okay? So your angels are saying be careful and watch yourself. This could be even people who you call lovers or lover. Um, someone who you truly love or truly trust. Queen of Wands. That's a Queen of Wands here. And I'm getting that's the reason why your gifts, your abundance is on hold. Because right now it's not the time. And this could be another male or a boyfriend that you have or girlfriend. Take it how it resonates. But this is your significant other. Someone who may seem like they're your partner. They're there for you. And like it, it feels like it's meant to be. It's turning into a love reading. But this person is not for you. This person is working against you behind your back. And I feel like you're going to have a realization. Now, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a business partner. But this person seems, this person seems friendly. This person seems like they are on your level. Like they, they belong to you. Like soul family. Well, the Three of Cups reversed and the Two of Cups upright, their energy is nothing good. Their energy is to bring um, sadness, to bring unjoyfulness, to bring um, complications in your life. Okay, now I'm getting another message. There is a woman here who's trying to get into your relationship. And there possibly are getting inside your relationship. So I feel like there is a third party here for some of you. If you're dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, this is a confirmation that there is someone that this your man or woman has had someone on the side for a long time. And I feel like you're going to realize that. And they could be a co-worker or someone they're working with or someone you're working with i'm getting the truth is going to come out um y'all could both work with this person so someone y'all could have a business together and this is someone they are both working with or if it's not that i feel like this woman here who you may call friend is trying to get your man is trying to get your man upset get your man jealous they may want to put lies inside your man's ear or woman's ear okay there's a evil person here you're gonna have a realization and you're gonna want a full new beginning here with the full card i feel like you're not longer gonna deal with the bs and you're gonna cut through it and you're gonna speak your truth yeah look at that the nine of pentacles is someone who's single independent and entrepreneur so you may become single in the future and you're going to cut off these negative, toxic people. Alright, so let's use the Power of Surrender Oracle 
to get you advice for pile number two, guardian angels and spirit guides for pile number two. Surrender resentments. Look at that. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for the shortcomings and keep moving forward toward your positive situations in your life. So, yeah, you're going to have to surrender. You're going to realize the situation that's happening and you're going to have to surrender resentments. And it's going to hurt and it's going to sting. But I do see a new beautiful beginning when you come out of this darkness. All right, beautifuls. I really hope you like this reading. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much. Mwah. Ciao. Pile number three. If you chose this rose quartz, this is your pile. We're going to see what is your spiritual message. So for pile number three, guardian angels and spirit guides, what is the spiritual message for pile number three? Please give me a theme here for pile number three. Let's see. Let's see, for power number three, power number three, what's going on? Guardian angels and spirit guides. The unexpected, that's a beautiful, beautiful message, okay? And realization, wow. I'm getting intuitively, when you leave this darkness, you're going to have a whole new beautiful path for you. Whole new beautiful life happening for you. But you have to, you have to let go of something that's going to hurt you. Something that you've been holding on the most dearly for your life. So what is the unexpected here? What's happening here? The two of pentacles reversed. The hangman reversed. What I'm getting here is that you're going to make a decision soon about your money or about the people in your life and you're gonna realize something soon and you're gonna you're no you're no longer gonna be attached to these people or you're no longer gonna have to owe these people karma um i feel like y'all have karma debts um towards some people it could be in regards of money but you're gonna be spiritually free and monetarily uh, the ties, monetary ties are going to be broken. You're no longer going to have to be um, a what is that um, a prisoner. You're no longer going to have to be a prisoner to these people. I see you um, traveling, planning travel uh, plans to travel. I see you planning Planning to move, planning to move forward. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, you're setting the bound the you're set, you're putting down the burdens with the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. You are no longer gonna be overstressing yourself. You're no longer gonna be overthinking things. You're no longer going to be overworking yourself. And people are going to see a whole new attitude from you. A whole new persona. You are changing your attitude. Your, the way you think. The way you work with people. Why is the hangman reversed? Yes. You're no longer going to overgive. You're no longer going to take breadcrumbs from loved ones or lovers. You are going to become more equal in your energy, more balanced, more grounded. And you're not going to take no BS or less than what you deserve. You are going to see your worth more than ever. Let's clarify the two of wands. Guys, forgive my dogs in the background. I am outside. Let's get the Ten of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah, you're you're disappearing. You're going ghost mode on these people. You're planning to leave, to disappear. You're going to go on a spa, on a vacation. You're going to find yourself. You're going to find what you love. You're going to find um, what brings you happiness um, and fulfillment. 
what fills your soul. You're going to find answers for yourself through yourself. You're going to go on a retreatment. I am getting that you are going to refresh yourself spiritually. You're going to cleanse yourself. That's what I'm getting here. You're going to find answers and guess what? You're going to find it. You're going to go find answers and you're going to find them. And it's going to be unexpected when this happens. People are not going to expect this from you. And you're not going to expect this either. So let, let's get one more card. The star. You're going to gain hope and you're going to find faith in your life again. You're going to have faith once more again in your life. And you're going to feel fulfilled and cherished and hopeful and and grateful that's what i'm getting okay and you're gonna find new opportunities doors are gonna start opening up for you just get the power surrender cards to end your reading for power number three what is the advice here for power number three Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Look at that, the unexpected, and then surrender to your intuition. I feel like we have green on both of these cards. Your chakra, your heart chakra is going to be cleansed. If, you've held, if you hold hate towards someone, resentment towards someone, you're going to cleans your heart and you're no longer going to hold that and you're going to see these people through love through heart through um glasses of love you're going to see the world differently and i feel like your intuition is going to be more heightened due to that fact that you're cleansing your heart and i also feel like you're going to strengthen your intuition your your abilities are going to become more strengthened um but you're going to see people more clearly now. You're going to see through the BS more clearly. Before they even do anything shady, you'll know about it. All right? So, beautifuls, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much. And then we have surrender to success. Success is coming to you. That's all I wanted to say. All right? Thank you. Ciao. Mwah.